Some disruptive defense. Um, in your mind, is that the second half? Is that kind of the defense that you were talking about? Yes and no. I mean, we forced 28 turnovers. I liked our physicality. It put us in, in some foul trouble. A lot to clean up. I mean, I'm ex extremely happy with the win. Okay, the fact that they never quit, down 15, fought as hard as they could, scrap, claw, pulled out the win. I'm extremely happy, but there's a lot to clean up. There's, there's too many mishelp, coast-to-coast -coast drives, putting too much pressure on our rim. There's a lot to clean up, but I'm very happy with, with their effort. They never gave in. Do you accept that for just the first game, or is it a matter of you want guys to kind of just be aware of that right away and just immediately work? No, they have to work on that. I think it's a, a product of how the game's going. You know, there were so many 50-50 balls that happened in the, the first half that didn't go our way. Some unfortunate plays that could have lessened the lead or kept us right there. Fif deflections that didn't go our way. Uh, loose balls that ended up just being point blank layups for them. And those are momentum changers. And then when you allow those plays to affect you mentally, that's when you start to get see gaps in the defense. And so the beginning of the game, I was extremely pleased with our defense. As it progressed, it started to, the gap started to increase, and then we turned it up, turned it around, and you know, fortunate to get out of there with the win. Was uh, fouling up for, with three points to go to the Elam ending? Was that something you guys had discussed? Not prior? as a team. Not as a team. Uh, we have we have an excellent staff. One of my assistants, Dutch Gately, uh, he studied the Elam ending. He knew he knew the nuances and he knew exactly what to do. He was I, I assigned him with his uh, end of game. Uh, str strategy, and he has done a tremendous job in practice, and it paid off today. And then uh, just with Keon, I know he hit the game winner, but all game kind of just was playing a lot. It seemed like slower, more in control uh, than he had a lot of last year. Just what did you make of his decision making in that regard? Happy, I'm very happy, and like I've spoken to you before, it's it's growth. You know, he's maturing as a player. The game is slowing down for him, which is allowing him to slow down on the court, and he's making these positive plays. So. The maybe the stat line might not have been what he liked, but um, just to have Derek out there playing healthy and, and able to at least get his body to do the things that he wanted to do. Um, just how important was him? Was it for him to kind of clear that hurdle and now knock the rust off and even go forward? You definitely need to ask him because I can't speak for him, but I can only imagine that he's happy. There's a couple of plays that I bet he wished he had back, but we've told him this whole process, be focused on just being back on the court and play as hard as you can. And I did, I did think he did that tonight. He played as hard as he could. Noah obviously was disrupted defensively at the rim. The fouls were there, but obviously, but just the activity, the aggressiveness, is that kind of what you want to see more from him as he's comfortable going into year two, just being that aggressive? Absolutely. Noah is a very versatile defender. He has great length. He has great instincts. He protects the rim extremely well. I was very, very happy with our rim protection in terms of our verticality. I think as the game spots in the game, we started slapping down that put him on the foul line. Um, some tic-tac fouls called against Noah that uh, he probably wished he had back, but I was, I was happy with Noah's rim protection. Between all the time that he spent at Kansas and you know the minutes that he got, um, as a rookie, I mean, did Jay Will just look like a, an experienced player out there today? I think so. He has a very cool and calm, collected way about him. He doesn't get rattled. And then he, when he's playing with force, there was a couple plays where he dropped his shoulder and he was right at the rim. That's what starts to get his motor going and um, give him credit. He made some big time, big time shots in the fourth quarter. You talked to us about wanting to be more of a leader with these guys this year. Do you kind of just see him early on just kind of taking that charge, even though he had a bad first half, just saying, you know, either settling guys down or trusting his plays? Do you see him trying to be more of that leader just because he, he does have the experience? I've, I've seen that out of um, all of our roster players is their voice um, getting uh, bigger, more forceful. And um, I would say Jalen especially, you know, he, like, he doesn't get rattled. So happy with him.